Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and thank you for joining us in today's video. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to convert a mobility scooter from standard sealed lead acid batteries to lithium batteries. We're gonna show you all the steps involved and actually do it here with this GoGo Ultra X three wheel by Pride Mobility. It is my favorite travel mobility scooter because when you take it apart, the heaviest piece only weighs 29 and a half pounds. The only downside to this mobility scooter is it doesn't have the best travel range, but we're gonna change that by upgrading to these 12 volt, 18 amp hour lithium batteries. We're gonna test it out to see how much further they go compared to the standard batteries that this scooter comes with. Now, before we get too far into the video, I need to mention a few things. Number one, if you want a copy of our free product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website, mobilitydirect.com, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog and just fill out the simple short form. One will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. Something else I wanna mention is that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which takes no time at all, it's free, you just click the subscribe button, you're automatically gonna get entered into our giveaway. We randomly select one lucky subscriber at least every six months and that lucky subscriber that we select gets a free mobility scooter month. So just make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna throw the last winner on the screen just for a moment so that you can see it's legit and we'll be right back with you. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your neighbor. Yeah, yeah, they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly, oh yep. my gosh. I'm so happy for you. Hello. So I just we're here with petition. Gloria and she's got her scooter that we're donating and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. And it's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, welcome back. So hopefully you've subscribed and good luck if you did. Now, one other thing I want to mention is stay tuned to the end of this video. We've got something really special planned for our next video. And if you stay tuned to the end, we'll tell you what the next video is going to be all about. We're gonna go ahead and get started now. Uh, in order to do this, you will need a few tools. I like having a manual screwdriver as well as a drill. Uh, I like to just loosen the screws first and then use my drill so that you don't strip out the screws. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver or a Phillips head drill bit or both. Um, we already have the lithium batteries. We offer these batteries. They come with an 11 year warranty. They're the highest quality lithium batteries out there. They use LIFEPO chemistry, which is the most reliable when it comes to extreme heat. And they're backed by that 11 year warranty. We've done a lot of research and a lot of testing with different brands of batteries. These are the best. Now you will need a lithium battery charger, which is actually made by the same company that supplies the charger that comes with the scooter if you order it with the standard batteries. The only difference is it's made for lithium batteries. It's a 24 volt charger, just like the original one that comes with this. And it has the same connector that goes into the charging port of the scooter. So it's plug and play essentially. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this again is the GoGo Ultra X. It's very easy to take apart. It breaks down into five pieces and the heaviest piece weighs 29 and a half pounds, which is awesome. So I've got the battery box here and that's where your two batteries are. We're gonna take the two batteries out that have come with it and replace them with these 18 amp hour batteries. And just to give you a little demo, this is how it comes apart. So when you're ready to transport it, you can fold the handlebar down and you can remove the basket. The whole process is very easy. It's very user friendly. Now, in order to get the old batteries out, you just wanna, and we're gonna zoom in here. Underneath the battery box, there's several screw holes with screws. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and I think those are the only eight screws that we're going to have to remove here. So I'm going to get a piece of styrofoam here that we use to cover up the floorboards on our floor models so that they don't get dirty so that I can rest the battery case on the floor and it's not going to get scratched up. So I'm going to use my manual screwdriver first and just loosen up these screws and we're going to fast forward through this part. Just go ahead and make sure you get all those screws out. Follow along with this video, it should be pretty straightforward. The whole process should only take about 20 minutes tops if you're not experienced, maybe a little longer, give or take five minutes. All right, so we have them all out and we're gonna just flip it over and make sure that you don't lose your screws here. We've got a total of eight screws, it seems like here. Now, some of them might have stayed behind, and that's okay. So I've got my screws here. One more just fell out. I just heard it. There it is. So now, I can actually remove the lid. Now, we've got some stickers on the lid, but Yours won't have stickers on the lid unless you buy it from us locally, and it's optional, of course. We don't require you to leave with stickers on your scooter. Um, so here we can see the two standard sealed lead acid batteries that come with it. Now, I recommend taking a picture so you know exactly how to rewire this with the new batteries. You need to make sure that these wires are set up in the exact same way. There's a positive and a negative with the red and the black. Same thing on these sealed lead acids. So I'm just going to disconnect them. They got the little locking hole in the battery terminals and that's why the little metal part comes sliding out. So when you put them back in, it's going to be difficult too, but that's all done intentionally. Now, something else you're going to notice is that when you go to take these out, they're Velcroed in, which can if you have sweaty hands, be difficult. Might help to also tip it upside down so that gravity can kind of help you. All right, so getting that battery out is not easy with the two Velcro strips that they have in there. I recommend putting it upside down and really yanking on it. You gotta be careful though. Um, you don't wanna rip anything or crack your case. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through the process and get the other one out. Um, and before we start fast forwarding, I'm just gonna connect this one. Now I'm gonna grab some Velcro and stick it to the bottom so that we can also have the battery secure and it's not gonna be shaking around in there too. All right, so I've got my lithium batteries here. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap them. They do come with some plastic wrap around them. I've got my opposite end of the Velcro here. It's the fuzzy side. Now I'm gonna only put one strip down because it was really hard to take this out. And I mean, battery boxes shouldn't go upside down ever. So it's not like these batteries are gonna fall out if it only has one Velcro strip. It's just gonna make it a lot easier to take them off in the future when you need to replace the batteries. Actually, I've got this on the wrong side here. So battery terminals are facing forward here. And that's going to make the red wire actually able to reach the terminal here on the positive. So now inside of there, when you pull it out, this little metal piece comes out. So it's going to make it kind of hard to put it back in. Just be aware of that. Bend it in, should go in fine. And we're in on one of them, just like that. So let's go ahead and rinse and repeat. Man, those are hard. Good to go. And this part might actually break out of sweat trying to get these out. Woo! And we got it. All right, so this fell out when I was shaking it upside down. Just make sure these edges fall into those grooves to put it back in. It's pretty easy to stick that back in and we're good to go. All right, so 
It's gonna just rinse and repeat like we did on the last set. All right, so we're in positive to positive, negative to negative on both batteries, and we should be good to uh, start reconnecting everything. You wanna make sure everything is nice and tight while you're in here. Everything looks good. Doesn't hurt to do that. So the old batteries are out, new batteries are in. It's now time to close up the case. Did for the battery case. Now that this battery case has lithium batteries in them, um, they're bigger as far as the amp hour goes. What comes with it is the standard 12 volt, 12 amp hour. We have 18 amp hour batteries. So I'm gonna put this upside down after I put the lid on it, of course. Everything looks good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get my screwdriver. And one at a time, just start installing these screws. Now we'll go ahead and fast forward through this part, but it's pretty straightforward. Shouldn't have any problems doing this part here. I do want to take the time to mention, if you join our membership program through YouTube, you can become a YouTube subscriber and a member, and you will get access to our live Q&A videos where you can speak directly with the technician, ask questions, get some troubleshooting done with your scooter if you have one that needs troubleshooting, and members get double entry into our mobility scooter giveaway raffles. So if you are interested in becoming a member, just go ahead and click the link in the description that says join to become a member. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope this video is helpful and we'll be right back with you. All right, so we just put in the last screw. Everything seems nice and sturdy. Lids on. We can get to work now. I'm putting the scooter back together. What's nice about these scooters is the feather touch disassembly. It's literally as easy as lining up this green, this bar with the green stickers with uh, these hooks that have green stickers on them. And once you bring the, uh, well, the handlebar is not locked, so let me lock the tiller so it doesn't swing around makes it a lot easier to work with. So what you want to do is line up the front and the back here, get the green hooks to go right over the bar with the green stickers on it, and it just falls right into place. Now I'm going to loosen up this tiller adjustment knob, which allows you to control the tilt angle of the handlebar assembly, known as the tiller. This is the tiller assembly. And uh, now that we have it up, we locked it into place. Wow, that's super lightweight. Gonna drop that in, put my seat in, and we're good to go. All right, so we have the lithium batteries in. The lithium batteries were brand new. So what does that mean? Well, you should already know this. We need to charge our batteries until they're fully charged. Lithium batteries, they do need an initial charge that's technically considered the activation charge or waking the batteries up, whatever you want to call it, the training charge. Uh, basically, these lithium batteries, when they sit in the warehouse for a long time, they become dormant. The battery management system might kick in um, and it might not have any voltage at all when you first get them until you charge it. So make sure you charge it with your lithium battery charger. Very important. If you want the full potential out of your lithium batteries, you need a lithium charger because the lithium charger has the ability to charge with a little bit higher voltage. Lithium batteries can go up in voltage higher than a standard sealed lead acid battery. So you wanna get the most out of your lithium batteries by using a lithium charger. And again, make sure you charge it, I would say for at least four to five hours when you first get your lithium batteries. The same thing applies if you get the standard batteries, you wanna charge it for a good four to five hours when you first get your scooter to make sure that those batteries get that initial training charge. Now. We have the batteries in here. I'm gonna charge them. Um, and I do wanna mention a few things about converting your scooter from standard lead acid to lithium. Number one, the battery meter is not gonna work. I mean, it will show that it's fully charged the entire time because the voltage is higher. 
and right at the end of the charge cycle, let's just say the lithium batteries give you 20 miles. Standard, this scooter gets about eight miles. So if the lithium batteries were to get you 20 miles, which we're gonna test, um, basically at the last two miles of the ride, let's say you go 18 miles, for the full 18 miles, you're gonna see a full battery charge on the meter. And that's bad because it won't give you enough time to make it home if you're more than two miles away from home. You never really want to get your batteries down to that last 10% anyway. You want to start charging when your batteries are about 75% drained if you can help it. Obviously you can't always help it, but it's a best practice to not let your batteries die down to like 10% capacity. Uh, just like the gasoline tank in your car, you don't really want to let it go all the way to empty. It's actually bad for your scooter batteries if you let the battery drain down to 10% every time or 0%. That's really bad. So if you're draining your battery down all the way to nothing, you can expect your batteries to not last long at all. If you actually start charging at about 50% capacity or when it's like 25% capacity left, and that's your regular charging routine, your batteries are gonna last you a long time, the longest that they can last. Now, if you're in hot states like Florida, you might only get about two years out of your standard batteries. With the lithium batteries, depending on how, how often you use them, you could get easily five, seven, 10 years if you don't use it that often. So the lithium batteries not only weigh less, they last a lot longer. They come with an 11 year warranty backed by Dakota, the manufacturer. The only thing is the battery meter is not going to be accurate. Now we're working on a solution for you. We've actually um, prepared this lithium battery meter, which you can plug right into the charging port. Now usually scooters have a charging port on the battery box down low and some models like this one, you have a charging uh, port up high. So I'm going to plug it into the charging port up high and you can see that the meter is on. Now we're gonna test this out. We're gonna go on a ride and see how far we can go and report the difference back. Remember, this scooter should only get about eight miles. But with the lithium batteries that are 18 amp hours, we're guessing that it's gonna get a lot more. So we're gonna go on a long distance ride and that's what I was telling you about to so stay tuned to the end of this video. In our next video, we're gonna go on a ride and try to see how far we can go without damaging the batteries. We're not gonna drain it all the way down to nothing, but we're gonna get the batteries down to probably 10 to 15% capacity and see how long we make it. Might just be that we make it about 15 to 20 miles compared to the standard eight miles that you get with the standard batteries. For this video, we just wanted to show you the process of taking out the old batteries and putting in the lithium batteries and explain the pros and the cons of having lithium batteries. So hopefully you've learned something today Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can get notified when the next video, part two of this video, comes out. We're going to take this scooter on a long distance ride. We're going to record it with GPS. It's going to have a speed meter on the app that we use to track the distance and the, the, the direction where we go on a map. So it's going to be all done live. There's not going to be any editing or, you know, secrets that we edit out of the video. We're going to do everything raw and pretty much uncut so that you can see exactly how far we can go with this scooter. Again, this is the Ultra X by Pride Mobility. It comes with a one-year service agreement. It's a great mobility scooter. The only thing that you can do to make it even better is upgrade the batteries to lithium. All right, everybody. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you subscribe to our channel, you're gonna get automatically entered into that giveaway. If you join our membership program, you get 2x entries into our raffle every single month. So make sure you check that out in the description. We have the links to join our membership program and links to see this product listing on our website to get pricing, see full specifications, and in-depth review videos of this product. Again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.